Oh, yes. Um, Good second here. Make sure I'm looking good. Always. <laughs> hey, I didn't mention that I have a suit on from a small business in Newport. Just to let you know. I, I wore it today. Where, where, do you, where do you get your tailoring done? Huh? My tailoring? Let me see. What's the name of the place? Uh, something, something Hayes? Michael, Michael Hayes. Yeah, Michael Hayes. Michael Hayes. Fa fair enough. Governor, a center... <laughs> A centerpiece of your visit yesterday to Lincoln and today to Newport, you're traversing the state, obviously is tax reform and tax relief. A, a big part of that is the beginning of what you are positioning as a gradual reduction in the sales tax. I would imagine as part of that research, you're looking at the impact on the budget of sales tax cuts. There's got to be a calculation in there for, for income that will increase to the state because of sales increases on sales tax cuts. Do you have any, can you give us a ballpark of what you see the positive impact on retail sales for cuts in sales tax, say per tenth of a percent, half, whatever, whatever measurement? I think we'll find out with that motorcycle uh, tax relief, right? Let's see whether we sell more motorcycles in the state of Rhode Island. That, that'll that be a, a good uh, basis for the defending, you know, the, uh, the, the, um, the pickup truck uh, trade in values coming off our sales tax calculations. I think it makes common sense that if you lower the cost that you're going to get more business. We just don't know what that means right now. The main thing for me is let's be competitive with Massachusetts and Connecticut mm -hmm. in all respects. That's the first hurdle for Rhode Island to uh, to jump over, right. uh, and this, this helps do that. So the, the, the other side of the bench wants to lower the sales tax to 5%. Do you see any positivity in terms of bringing outside sales into the state? By doing that type of dramatic cut, well, I, I think it's it's a big risk to reduce four hundred million dollars in one shot. Right. Uh, that doesn't make that doesn't seem as though it's a responsible budget. So I, I'm into responsible budgeting. Give a balanced budget, manage it for surplus. Use the surplus dollars that are invested in the really uh, one-time type of uh, investments that pay dividends over decades. And uh, this is part of the process of incrementally. On the sales tax, it's just one of the things that we're working on. Fair enough. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Governor.